Hello, welcome to Simply Linux and today we are going to be looking through some iterations of PC Linux OS. It is 16 years old and uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of a history lesson a bit but not too much of one because my memory is limited and I haven't done any research. Around about this time of year, PC Linux OS was born. It started with some earlier ISOs which I cannot get hold of and they were called preview ISOs or pre ISOs and we had P04, P05, 678 I believe and then we had 92 which is this version here. I'm only going to be running through the live environment as I can't update it or do anything else pointless wasting yours and my time installing it anyway at the beginning of the screen there uh, before it booted it did tell you the in the top right hand corner the username and passwords for the live environment we also have here a session type so, ooh, if I go down here we had Sessions are Fluxbox, KDE, TWM, more failsafe. I'm going to leave it at the default. I'm not changing it. It is KDE. It is also the first distro that I know of, and if anybody wants to correct me, that had NVIDIA drivers already baked in to the ISO. So those with the NVIDIA cards could have at their leisure NVIDIA working out of the box. The ISO came in two flavours. It came in NVIDIA and it came in ATI. Here you can see we have a KDE3 installation. And if it looks pretty much like my Trinity, it's because Trinity is based on KDE3 and there are a lot of similarities. So let's have a look at the screen here. And I can't really do much with the resolution, and I do apologise about that. Um, I'm actually stuck at a 1024 by 768 resolution, but I'm pretty sure I could actually change that in the live setting without installing. So if I can bring up a terminal and su to root with the password root. And we'll uh, see if XF Drake is installed. It is. Let's see if I can make it a bit bigger to make it a bit more pleasant. Let's try that there. And we'll try and change that to the same. We'll leave it a 16 bit colour. Uh, VMware, yes, we'll change that. You need to log out and log in, and that is fine. So we'll do service. In fact, I will log out and log back in as it suggested. So we'll end the current session. Maybe I didn't do enough. Okay. Let's try something else. Oops. Start to the DM. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Now we can see. Okay, I'm not sure what it is to get the uh, enter full screen. Okay. So I've been someone on 1080p or 1050 should be fine going down. Missing three. We're looking to guess and then we can have a look. <coughs> it properly 
Okay, as you can see, it's remembered that I had the console open. And while I'm here, we'll have a look at the kernel version. And the kernel version of 0 0.92 was 2.6.2 .2 OCI, which was a Mandriva kernel. And as you can see, it's actually picked up by CPU, but that's fine. But it's a 32 bit kernel. Um, things like HTOP and that wasn't installed, but we'll go through what was. In the movements, we had Arcade, we had Chaosroids. As you can see, it's very snappy, as it should be for a 13 year old. No, probably older than that actually. A 15 year old OS. So we had Chaosroids. We also had K-Bounce, K-Golf, K-Tron, Atlantic, Backgammon. We had Blackbox, Canobla, Mahjong, K-Diversi. K-Diversi was one of my favourite games. Um, let me drag it over here a bit. And the object of uh, K-Diversi is to have more than the opposition. Uh, I really forgot what colour I was for a second there. And what he's going to do is actually is force me to let him have the corner. Okay, if you get the corners in this game and the wall, side walls, you're basically won. So. Uh, I can do that, can't I? Yep. Now that is a pretty dangerous move, but me. Not really worried about it for now. I'm just having a quick game here, and I know I'm wasting time, but that's fine. I do not want that. Yeah, and I don't really want to do that one there, so, well, I've done it anyway, but that's alright. I'd have painted myself into a wall there, and that's fine also. No, I didn't really want him over in that corner, and that is the reason why I wasn't paying attention. And that's my phone going ding. I've basically lost this game, that's fine. No, I haven't. Not yet. Now I'll beat it. There you go. So anyway, enough of the games. What else did we have? Under configuration, we had networking with Wurlang Assist for setting up our Wi-Fi, and uh, that kind of thing. We had the PC Linux OS Control Center. We'll have a look at that. Oops. Remember, I'm running this live, Ali. And this is how it looked back in the day. Okay, the order is different, but at the top we got boot, we got auto login, we can set the display manager, uh, configure the Lilo boot manager. Lilo was Linux loader, this is way back before Grub. Uh, we can set a graphical theme during boot, which is very cool. 
You could also manage to see some hardware, configure your TV card. All this was actually the Mandriva tools back in the day and uh, do it updated for PC Linux OS. We could create main points, share partitions. Of course, the uh, things have changed a little bit. But this back in 2003 would have blown your socks off. The only other comparable tool I can think of was Yast. The SUSE Yast was similar. But nothing really had this kind of configurability out of the uh, box. And uh, we can have a look at the system services running. We got ICPR running, IPMD, DM ring obviously, uh, MDIM, USB home, which was stopped. USB home is uh, a way of having per systems, you could have two USB sticks, you could put off your CD rather, put in USB stick and have the home and as that so you could take your OS more or less anywhere with you to use on your machine. So I'll quit out of that. Uh, I will open up uh, Conqueror. Well, there she is, guest Conqueror. If we do a helping about KDE, and it was released 3.4.3 .3 back then. So, this is what we were using back in the day. About Conqueror, it is the same as in 2004. It's the release date, so we do know that we're in 2004, which is 15 years ago, so this OS is 15 years old. We had a new user guide. Now this may, and it has, uh, it's changed itself because uh, the resources have been removed. It was using an old, um, an old URL there. I wonder if the IRC will still work. Let's choose my neck. Maybe this is on something. And look at here. It is connecting. Now I'm not sure whether this is still alive or not. I'm not even sure whether I have internet or not. Oh, I do have internet. Card connector hose, connection refused. Fair enough. We'll just close that down then. I'm just interested to see if certain things work still. Anyway, under networking we had Mozilla Firefox. No, Mozilla Firefox. And it says visit Peace Linux OS online, which is now dead, it's now called PeaceLinuxOS.com. So if I open that new tab you will see redirect and just absolutely die. Which is fine. And there's Peace Linux OS Weekly and so on and so forth. So, and the version of this, Middle of Firefox, is 1.0.7, which is actually dated 2005, so a year later than I thought. So, still getting old for 14 years old. And I say the internet looked in. So you can get old Google up. Oh, what am I doing here? Yeah, Google. There we go. Web browser still working. I don't know if I could actually get to YouTube bunny, but I'm not even going to try. We do have the installer. The installer I can actually take you through, but It won't actually, uh, might not actually work for me, but we'll have a go anyway. So let's click on next now, it says for advanced users to click on the Let's 
screen and I'm just interested in here what happens you have to specify the root partition and of course there's nothing here so okay x equals none fair enough let's go back and we will boot up the old disk partitioner and I'm just taking you through this because this is an old version of piece Linux OS so we'll create a drive of uh, 4 gig xt3 yep good to me ok it's going to be directly as all can take and it's copying the whole stuff over now that could be me uh, that, that, that I could have actually um, goofed everything up just by doing that so let me close that and it's not going to let me hear it of course not could I have just screwed everything up so anyway what else can I show you when the VMs <laughs> it is actually copying over certain stuff so anyway uh, under office if we can actually get the mouse there now because oh, I'm glitching a bit we have accessories basket and cage art and cases and tux cards address book uh, word processors we had keywords so we do have the K office installed at the time we have putty putty there's a throwback for some windows users putty which is an ssh client we have mmap krdc for remote desktop and i'm just letting it carry on with whatever it's doing you like of course no cases very in it which is still the init for PC Linux OS we never did go system D we have the K D control center keyboard layout components look and feel information uh, see what backgrounds we had it's just the full background at the minute, but let's see what else we had. Oops. Looks like I'm, uh, my computer, my actually computer computer is actually having a bit of a uh, CPU buddies here. Ah, oh, no. Right, let's finish that. So we have backgrounds as I was going through and we could apply different backgrounds of course we had the icons no icons, icons hmm. so yeah we had all those that kind of thing going on as you can see I'm missing all the icons now but that's alright um, let's go next let's see what happens now if we try to install it now I think I'll just totally screw the pooch it tells me I have to specify a web part a swap partition Okay, let's go back. I'm not doing very well here. Great. Now we're doing that. I'll swap it out and we'll go okay. There we go. Done. Yeah. <coughs> I 
maintenance format that and we will actually make the swap there we go we've made it swap okay so we can go next now and it should be happy that we have swap now there we go I won't even bother swapping the okay I will pause this momentarily while this does this it could take around the base well of course it's about four minutes I think I'm back um, just bear with me make sure I'm recording yes I am so anyway the install has gone copied all the files over put the installation and login so I will do want to install. It tells me the bootloader is written. I'll have to about some login. So anyway, I'm waiting until that reappears before I do anything. Let's see if we can get this to boot from um, its hard drive. As you can see the instructions are there anyway or we'll take those please let drive or partition which I to install and press install which I did. Okay. Let's see if we can type our root password now. I clicked the right password. It's telling me it may be unsafe but that's fine. New rack password, we'll delete the best and we'll create a user okay we'll create that user and we'll say yes to reboot my system automatically now, whether it will or not. Well, we'll see. So, yep, it is actually shutting down the system. Please stand by while the boot booting again. We have a boot screen there, so the boot loader did install. Let's see if. we did it correctly or not if not there's no real issue here and we've got a kernel panic and it seems to be firing on the xt3 which I'm unsure of why but there we have it Oh, I see pivot root uh, from sys root to init rd. So, okay, we probably just passing it. You can't find the init. <coughs> okay, we can actually do as it says. Uh, once I let go of my mouse, that is. Let's reset the guest. And we'll hit escape. Okay. I've got PC Linux OS in it equals six. Unless it means Unless it was asking for something else, of course, not the actual getting it by itself. It was. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 
we'll just kill that off for now. We'll just literally power it off. And we'll move on to our next one. So yeah, we'll shut that off. <coughs> So anyway, that was point nine two. I wasn't expecting it to install on on VMware or VirtualBox anyway. To be fair, it is a really old. If I had a, um, I'll think of the word in a minute. A period correct. There we go. That will do, won't it? A period correct. Um, I so I would do period correct computer. I would have put it on. There for you anyway. So anyway, I want to create a new virtual box. We are going to be zooming up a couple of years. And we will be looking at once I find it, two thousand and seven. Which is a seven hundred and thirty one megabyte. And it will be a 2.6 kernel. And I'll just name this uh, PC last 2007. Let me just click that. <coughs> okay, as you can see here, we have. Um, Some other stuff, remind me later. And as you can see, we have a nice uh, screen, much different bit from before. The logo has changed. We could boot in various modes and even do a mem test. So we're just booting to the last CD directly. It gives a couple of seconds to boot from the live environment here. And we'll see what difference. You can see the different background. I do wish it still had that background. I do like that background. In fact, I do believe for the anniversary edition of Trinity I did, and Textile made a mini me version. We both did one. Uh, So I'll we'll choose a UK keyboard. You see things are a lot more familiar now to what the was. Here's what, what I found. Here's what you found. What? It seems um oh Google Assist on my phone. Decided to have a play. So yeah, I'll do that, we'll do that. We'll do that, we'll do that, and we'll do that, and we'll do that. Yeah, we're starting it. Okay, so in 2007, it did the networking and all that for you beforehand. It went through the thing. Uh, there's been a tool since then. So we'll log in. And it used to be the splash screen. As you can see, it's all neatened up. We have the usual install piece Linux, the installation help. And we'll just double click that. And it tells you the general guide. And it tells you what the stages are for the install because it is a new installer on the previous one, which was a big step up. It was a really big step up. So We'll see what's involved here before we install it. We have more applications, we've got databases, which is OpenOffice all. So we know we've got OpenOffice installed. We have a uh, KDE Help Center, uh, regular expression editor, uh, KWrite and Vi. On the internet we had chat, we had uh, 
extra RRC, we tried that earlier on, it didn't work for us, but I'm just wondering if it will connect to free node. You see, it's testing ID and fans ID, and there we are, working like Flynn on iNode. It's an asp. Oh, yes, it is still alive. RIC is alive. You can see we have some Pano guest, which is me, Pano and Overclock, and in the Santi. So, we do still have people using RIC. That is fantastic. This is from 2007, which is 12 years ago, and RIC is still working out that brilliant. That that is just a dog's dangly bits. We'll close that though. Now it's clipper cancel. Okay, so that is fantastic. Uh, we can have a look at the old uh, console here. 2.6.18.1 uh, and he was rolling his own by that time and it was an SMP kernel which means he uh, could do more than one core and more than four gig of RAM even though it is a 32 gig uh, 32 bit so we have Mozilla Firefox we have Thunderbird and we have uh, Crazy by to Reb on the multimedia and the graphics we have GIMP now I didn't show you any graphics on the previous one but we'll have a look at this and this is welcome to GIMP and we'll just do a helping about 2.3.16 back then in 2007 which would have been the greatest and greatest at the time the ISO was released now is a shall I? Yes, why not? On the configuration and packaging we should find an attic. We should be looking for the root password here. As you can see everything's new in the repository and so forth. And this will probably die a death. No, would you believe? Oh right. I thought it was actually indexing some stuff there. But alas not. Unconfigurable, which is fine. So we look at the repositories. I was using space. Which is fine. And the Biblio was actually our friends back then. Um yeah, it was all good. In fact I know he net still has a repository, but I don't think they actually host anything thirty two bit anymore. So, let's see if we can, uh, oh, what all 404? <laughs> it's all good. All her house, <laughs> it was just for the giggle, I know there was nothing there. Uh, show photo, of course, uh, case snapshot, photo draw, x sign species. Open Office Writer, let's have a look at Open Office. This may take a while to move as uh, things have changed, but here we have Open Office, and this was uh, version 2.2. .2. And it was when some micro systems are still some micro systems before getting swallowed by Oracle. So, what else do we have? Multimedia, of course, we've got Grimp here. Uh, Sand, we have Amarok. We'll just get the uh, first form wizard. I said this will play. Yep, it is all good. And it still serves down here. Oh, what else do we have? 
uh, system tools of course, configuration, hardware, hydrate, KR and hard tray. Let's uh, bring that up just for a minute. That's the biggest we can do. That's fine. Uh, control center of course for KDE, appearance and themes. You can see that thing there. Oh, while we're at the control center, we'll have a look at what version of KDE 3.5.6. So this is one of the last KDE3s. So anyway, that's a quick look. I didn't mean to do that. That's a quick look at um, 2007. Of course the installer is the one we know and love today. Just it has changed a little bit, but it is the one we know and love today. Let's copy this guys, and it's copying. Oh, this was only a 700 megabytes or so, so it can only take a few minutes to uh, install. And apart from the graphics, it hasn't really changed that much on the surface although underneath it really has changed a lot under the surface and uh, I'm going to try and treat you all to um, something quite nice like a run I hope if I have downloaded it I forget if I downloaded the right version if I have, we'll have a go at updating something that's six years old. Okay, so it's creating the main points. And preparing the bootloader, of course. It does say drag live installed enhanced. Enhanced how? Not quite sure. So we'll have to go to and finish that. Now just please wait bootloader installation in progress. Uh, now we get to accept the administrator password. And this is where things changed again because nowadays uh, we have this post install. So we can now, hopefully, uh, reboot the machine. Of course, it's going to throw us back to it there. Oops. And we'll shut down, restart. Now let's see if we've got this one working properly. Press enter to reject the CD and we're restarting and we're in light flin. So we'll let this boot. If it wants to boot. And she does. And here we go. Booted into our nice new 2007 version of PC Linux OS. The reason why I'm not using VirtualBox for these early ones is because the display gets corrupted for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, it doesn't play well and I tried with a lot of uh, stuff. So we can have a look more around there, it should be a bit more speedy and actually enough normal. We have Crusader of course and Crusader Root, we also have uh, Search Monkey, Monitoring, we have uh, Casey's Garden Kremlin, which is there, 
which is a nice little blue theme. And we want to have a look at the Pigeon Onyx OS tools. The control center, which has changed again. The splash screen's changed a little bit from the previous. And at the top we have sharing, where we can create special shares, public shares, set up a web server, groupware, configure internet mail services, online administration, which was uh, taking control of another machine. And we also had our boot, set up our system boots, set up a graphical theme during boot we could actually choose. Or is it time to download some themes now? Yep. There's a screen, we could create a new theme, silent mode, or that business. Well, we just can't play with that. Uh, under hardware, we had a look at the configure hardware, configure monitor, configure 3D desktop effects. Not desktop effects, but we could install compies. We didn't install compies, but it still me it does not support. But if you had NVIDIA in draw, we could run the Compiz tool and battle and have Compiz up and running in seconds. Could also have a set of TV card, UPS, scanners, printers and the like. Could also have a set of uh, crank delete partitions, sample main points. All the usual stuff is still here. Add remove users, still use Drake, and I'm still 501. It starts at UID 501 or 500, or 501 in this version, and that is fine. So that's a quick look at the PC learning service. And uh, over here we have the control center, which has changed again. We had different screen savers, I don't know if any was installed, yes they were. We could have a look at some kaleidoscope. Uh, see, there we go. All running out the box, it was very nice for its time. This guy changes, plus screen of course was dark, which is the piece of Linux OS default style of course plastic but we have different ones like platinum and SGI and all that kind of business and clear look and so on and so forth theme manager of course windows decorations we have KBML as default but we could have had KD1 K step plastic is like the default for here anyway so yeah this is an overview of the 2008 and uh, yeah it's all good so that's PC Linux Swiss 2007 sorry not 2008 and there we go. So we'll shut that down. <coughs> and we'll venture on to the next one. Which I'm unsure of, but we will find it. And we'll make a new VMware up for that as well. So bear with me, and someone's just turned the top on somewhere in this block. <coughs> so it's under more applications, firmware player. And we'll create yet another new virtual machine. And we'll browse it. And I have to hunt for the ISO. We have 2010. Of September, this is when we decided to change our ordering. So 2010 through 2013, and you can see how the different sizes there. Yeah.
so we'll open that um, by 2010 I think we got to a, a three times kernel so I will choose that and it won't really matter that much and this is 2010 so PC loss 2010 <coughs> I'll finish all then. Oh, so it's your boots. And she gave a little beat there. Oh, I don't mind me later. And as you can see, it's booting. And this time we have Dolby the ball, and that's what it is. It is able that fades in as it boots. Uh, for part two of this, I will be, as I said, doing a install of a 64-bit from 2013, I believe. These are the old 32-bit images I found, and I need to go to the uh, archives and hunt me down a 64-bit. Okay, so that's going to swap keyboard again. It is three years later. So UK keyboard. Have mouse. And this was the splash screen. To load up KDE of the time. Oh, let me see if I can just add that a bit bigger. It's into full screen. Okay, let's wait for this to load. And we have got a black screen. Hmm. Okay, someone wasn't very happy with that. Um, now can I go control F1? Or control L F1? Nope. No. Okay, so I'm having a bit of bad luck there. So what I'll do that off we'll load up a virtual box let's see what can try on that um, we'll change that to 10 that other 32 bit there I do storage empty load up let's see if it plays nicely on here and we was on 2010 wasn't we not 2010 12 KDE, that'll be the one. Uh, let's see, display. We'll just change that to um, VirtualBox VGA, shall we? Or shall we keep it as BMS VGA? Okay. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll change it back afterwards. And we'll see how this behaves on here. Well, I've just hit escape. So no Dolby this time, I just want to see if it actually boot boots. Okay, well the mess seems to be behaving, so we'll take that as a good thing. Let's even get a graphical user up this time. <coughs> mm. 
Yes, that's more likely. We've got password guest, root guest. And guest claim, we have automatic login. And this is KDE4. So we've increased from KDE3 to KDE4. Uh, this is pre pre plasma days and we are connected to the internet so what did we get under configuration we got set piece Linux OS and play Bluetooth so we have Bluetooth back there we had USB live CD creator we had redo MBR for those needed we had uh, marble we had our tools for injects and printers there we had our terminals on the archive we had arc and k3v k info center which we'll have a look at right now so we're on um kd 4.5.4 by this time and we're still rocking the 2.633 with BFS memory, yep, device information, all that kind of business. Uh, we're on Xorg uh, 10 version 11, of course. So, and of course, the uh, install I changed the game slightly. Now I'm by 10. Well, the raise. We did change a little bit of the installer. And there she goes in story. I'll just pause it for a sec. I welcome back at the uh, group screen again. Just install that. Now we have a wonderful Sunday on hand. Uh, this will be the last one I'm doing for the moment, and I will be continuing this series again. So, okay, we can leave and we can restart. So we start the machine. Press center once the CD is removed. It automatically removes it just ejects it. And there we go. Now I'll be looking for a 64 the early 64 bit image I can. And we'll see if we can do something with that. This is the first time, first of the uh rolling distros but this is 32 bit and there is no 32 bit repo anymore I'm afraid and you can probably hear a plane going overhead and this is where we now on the later stages do set up our username and password like we do even today like the previous versions that let us enter it before uh, rebooting so we'll log ourselves into KDE4 Which wasn't the sprightest. But I do have it running off. Um, actually, I don't know if I've it run off SSD or not. But I think I'm running this off um, 
normal hard drive, a spinning roster, as I call it. So, there we have. He installed his Linux OS. Actually, the hard drive is still crashing a bit. In all its glory. Uh, we, as I said, we do have Firefox still again. It's been a, a steady um, inclusion. A piece of Linux OS throughout the ages from a version 1 to this version here at 2010. You really want to guess what version number it is? If it loads, uh, it will load, it's actually my hard drive is actually thrashing at the moment for some reason. And it is on, yeah, it is on normal hard drive. It's on standard drive, so bear with me. And I was looking through the old ISOs. Yeah. I could get P9 cheese where I got from. And probably in the background. And I'm just looking for a 64-bit image. It's the MD5 for the 2014 Mata editions. But as of yet, I cannot find the 64 bit. Hmm. But that is fine because if I go to uh, community, Trinity, how far back do I go there? That's 32 bit. 218, mini 218, 215. It's only 215, 215, 32. So, did I do that one as a 64? I think I probably did actually. So, what I'll do is I'll try and update from 2015. Go back. Trinity ISOs, but I did say underneath here, there's a Trinity box here for all my old ones. So, I do have a uh, piece of Linux OS, Trinity Big Daddy, from 2015. So, what I will be doing is I will download that tonight. And uh, we'll see how that goes with updating to the present day. That gives us a fair four, four and a bit years and a half years of um, so I'll start that off and obviously it's going to complain there we go we'll start that off and yeah what can I for me right as you can see it has loaded up Ice cubes and it's come up with a piece of linuxos.com so it actually changed and you can see it's got the uh, Firefox branding so let's see about 3.6 at that time let's see what other tools we got under graphics we have the GIMP remember it was on 2.6 something for the GIMP and uh, We'll just, um, in fact, we'll just close uh, Firefox. And this was a bit rehorse heavy in its time. There we 
we go. Get any pimp up. <laughs> the GNU image manipulation program. And of course it was the uh, GNU image manipulation program uh, toolkit that now makes Marte and GNOME desktops and XFCE. Just turn the extensions there. It was pretty low, slow to load at this time. There we go. Boom. Uh, we can go to uh, help and about 2.6.11. So I'd increased a few in years. So anyway, that's uh, 2010. And this is where I'll be leaving it for today. Uh, we'll increase by year by year. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 2012 and 2013. And then when I've downloaded the uh, list, I will be seeing if I can update a piece of Linux OS from 2015 to 2019. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It's taken a bit of time to do, but that's fine. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all, see you all soon. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, yeah, happy birthday, PC Linux OS and Techstar. You've done a brilliant job so far. You keep on going as long as you can. Thank you, and uh, good night.